All right, boys and girls, today I'm going to actually stay a little late to show you a special car that just came in. This is one drop dead gorgeous, matching numbers. 1970 SS396 Chevelle. She just arrived. We haven't even put it through its checkout yet. But this is one of those cars that was just done beautifully. One of the nicest we've had in a while. Beautifully equipped cranberry red, black stripes, correct SS wheels, correct reproduction Firestone wide ovals, true SS396, again matching numbers. This is one with the optional flapper hood, which you had to pay extra for on your SS. Rare, red on red, 1970 SS. This is the second one we've had like this in 10 years. It is rare. I think it's beautiful. My first car in 1965 was red on red with a black vinyl top. Black dash, black gauges, four speed car from the factory. And this car runs like a rape date. And it looks pure factory stock under the hood. As far as I can tell, just by listening to it, the camshaft profile has been upgraded a little bit. It's got a little sweeter uh, idle than uh, I remember the 350 horse engines having. Sounds awesome. Pulls strong. And how about cold factory air conditioning in your car as well? Body and paint on this car are just to die for. And a 70 Chevelle is <laughs> iconic. One of the most handsome cars that ever came out of Detroit back in the muscle car era. Let's take a look inside this beauty here. We'll be installing floor mats uh, with the car. That's all I can see it needs. I mean, the interior is like new. So cool. Black steering wheel, SS. Oh, I did notice the dash lights are not working for the gauges, so we'll be fixing that. Here, I'll light it up for you. Does have the proper tachometer, and that was an extra cost option in 1970. Even though you got an SS, you did not get a tach standard. Clock works. Check this out. Original AM FM stereo 8-track. And it still works. Plays beautifully. There's your cold factory air conditioning right there. Beautiful SS dash. Absolute collector quality. And rarity is a good thing. Beautiful console. Whoever did the restoration on this car, and I don't know who did it, I don't know if it was one man that spent three and a half years, or if it was a team of guys, but whoever did this car were masters at their craft. I've seen good, I've seen bad, and I've seen great. This is great. There's your flapper hood. It's so cool. When you start the car up, it usually drops down, and then when you stomp on the gas uh, out on the street or whatever, uh, then it pops back up and it sucks that cold air down into the carburetor. Cold air is uh, denser and it creates more horsepower than hot air. Doors open and close like brand new. Underneath the car is gorgeous. This is one beautiful 70 SS 396 Chevelle. Let me show you under the hood. There you go, right there. Looking just like it did in the Chevrolet showroom in 1970. Just beautiful. All four T3 headlights from 1970. Washer bottle. Factory air unit right there, power disc brakes, power steering, right there. Factory exhaust manifolds. This is a very, very detailed example of what you could have purchased at your Chevrolet dealer in 1970. 
if you were lucky enough to find one like this car. Air, flapper hood, four speed, and disc brakes, power steering, tack, all wrapped up in a rare color combo and matching numbers makes this a true collectible. 1970 Chevelle. I'll start it up for you. that's music to your ears, it sure, certainly is to mine. If you think you might like to have this beauty in your garage, give me a call. My name is Jeff Whitaker. You can reach me at 410-562-9319. Thanks for looking.